Saturated fads and wind up toys. 20 years ago, Ganymede was the place to be. Miller Western's greatest mining operation. Now it's a hole. At least a ragtag colonist. The place you get sent if you're really screwed up. Second chance, they call it. More like last chance. Now, for 12 lousy months, we get to call it home. Last one. Tell me when you're ready.
Cobb. It's done it again. We see it. Be careful. You getting anything? Uh, nothing yet. She's back. We see her. Damn it. I can't hold her. Let her go. Cobb. You're past your safety Boy. depth. Jim, get your butt out of there. Just a bit more. No way. James, this is an order. She's beautiful. James. I'm gonna send out a pro. Get out of there. It's working. I can see her. The hull's going. Just a little bit. What the heck? What's going on? There's something weird here, Cobb. Something was discovered. Something no one was meant to know about. Someone on Ganymede wanted to keep that discovery a secret at any cost. Four ideas have made us billions. He's an early model. We got dozens. Not like this one. Don't know why, but his genetic recombination is brilliant. One of my greatest successes. Brilliant for us. Not so brilliant for him. Well, so long as he takes his shots every three hours, he can lead an almost normal life. Almost. So it's decided. We let him live. But just put him somewhere he can't do any more damage. Oh. We've decided to overlook your latest indiscretion, Jazz. In fact, we have a presentation for you. The dream? Show them how you feel. Give me a kiss, Phyllis. <laughs> Guess we're a little closer to the dream, huh? Jazz, on the other hand, he had, let's say, a unstable streak, so Ganymede was his second home. Christian Kell, 
Dr. Marie, biologist, assistant. Hi. Um, welcome to Ganymede. Oh, where's Dr. Jacobs? Killed her and dumped the body. Haven't woken her yet. Who's that? Kai Sorensen. The man himself? <sighs> the Taurus Three. That explosion? The company only second chanced him? With those Nimrods, I'm surprised you didn't promote him. been sweepy weepy What? Not much of a talker, huh? Go back to sleep. I have not been to sleep. You're a genie? Genetic recombian human. I am one of the first and one of the best. Well, then what are you doing here? I'm unpredictable, what can I say? <sighs> Just stay away from me, okay? You better wake the others. Swords and Sarah toxicity looks pretty high. Probably got loaded before cryo. You a doctor as well? No, toxicity is my hobby. <laughs> Whoa, the legend himself. He's lucky to be second chance after what he did to the Taurus Three. Well, we're all here for something, Doc. Even you. Taurus Three, this is Miller Western Earth A and ST Control. Preliminary flight checks are A OK. <sighs> no Exit way. Lower orbit holding pattern. Proceed to outer orbit. You are go for oh. main voyage departure. No, this isn't right. Roger that, Earth ANST. Rounding frontier beacon. Engaging main engine. ANST. No. We're experiencing good vibration. Tragedy ended today. The destruction of Middle Western's flagship, the Taurus III, which left 315 people dead, has finished with the tribunal ruling the cause of the explosion as a mechanical failure. Middle Western have so far declined to comment on the ruling, but are said to be satisfied with the outcome. Middle Western were also in the news announcing... Let's tie Sorensen's voicemail. Leave your message after the tone. Hi, the hearing's over. The company wanted you busted right out, but I talked them into second chancing. They're sending you to Ganymede. Sorry, pal. It's the best I could do. One year in that hole and you get it all back. Guaranteed. <laughs> a low rent colony transport for Miller Western to take the colonists to Mars. On its inaugural trip, one of the engine brackets tore loose, caused a kink in the central hub. At T plus 4 minutes 34 seconds, a 7 meter hole ripped open in the hull. 315 men, women, and children died. It was my fault. I should have made sure those brackets were secure. In those days, only tequila made it okay. I deserve Ganymede. Jacobs, police, doctor, marine, biologist, senior. That's it, baby. Come on. You know he wants it. Come on. Dr. Jacobs? I don't appreciate you going over my head, Felice. You fake those tests and people are gonna die. The company disagrees. What? Given the release dates for those new drugs, they've endorsed my approach. Over my dead body. You can register your complaints from Ganymede. You wouldn't dare. I need to know if there's an increase in amoeba during the moon's conjunction. Well, there are dozens of people who could do that. But you're so conscientious, Felice. I'll only have two days after I get there. I can't do all that. Then you'll just have to wait for the next conjunction of the moons, won't you? Twelve months. You're marooning me in that hellhole for twelve months? Take plenty of books. Now, Felice, 
She was sent because a colleague had it in for her. Wake up, you steak. Come on, wake up. This guy's really done a job on himself. Wake up! Ugh, that's Ty Sorensen. The legend himself. Great. No boost before snooze. Do I know you? Is this man all right? As soon as he remembers his name, he's gonna be fine, Doc. Miller Western transports Solaris. Arrival directed. Doctor Police Jacobs. Upon arrival in Ganymede orbit, rendezvous with Command Ship Callisto 4. Prepare to receive military interdeem via pod drop. Interdeem to join research party. Brief research party for assignment. Proceed directly to Ganymede base. Contact base security. Oh, do Command I need a drink? End message. <sighs> you want me to take it? I'm amazed you can even see. Solaris to Callisto 4. We got a command to pick up Reese and her pod from Callisto 4. And Callisto 4, the prison ship for psychopaths. Reese. She'd been incarcerated on Callisto 4 by her mother, General Reese. And again, I suppose when a mother does that kind of thing, she has her reasons. Hey, you wouldn't have any salt or lime, huh? Guess not. Solaris to Callisto 4. About time, Solaris. You got a prisoner for us? Ripe and ready to roll. FedEx access approach to 018. Sorry, Niner. Piss off. Solaris. Sorry, not you. <laughs> you do everything by the book? I do not do everything by the book. Step 32A. Engage safety lockdown. Solaris to Callisto 4. Please deploy cargo. Next time it's amateur hour, you all let us know. Yeah, up yours, Callisto. Sure, cowboy. Notice the firing line of the railgun? Have fun. <laughs> I'd forget the rule book if I were you. Start your prep. Attention all orbiting Ganymede space traffic. This is Ganymede Air and Space Traffic Control. All orbiting space traffic is clear flood launch path. Space flood launch is T minus 10. Mark.
We'll need a distraction. Keep them away from the dive room. Too easy to mess up. Not a word about this, Clay. Welcome to Ganymede. Jazz, we're gonna have to make you a life member. <laughs> you okay, Green? Here's my duty manifest. You'll notice my priority. I'll be diving in an hour. Yeah, well, it could be a problem. Ain't that right, Cobb? And who might you be? Green. Head of... Security. Which means I outrank you and... This isn't a matter of rank. Listen, I've got two days to get those readings, or I'm stuck out here for a year. You better believe it's a matter of rank. Our submersibles are being retrofitted. Sorensen here's our engineer. He can fix anything. And the access corridor is damaged. Out of the question, I'm afraid. Right. Bennett, Reese, and Kell stayed on the Solaris to unload. If I remember, Green's reception was kind of frosty for Jazz, Felice, and me. According to Green, the submarine and the access corridor were out of action. But Felice, well, Felice was never one to take no for an answer. She needed to measure the rise in Amoeba at the conjunction of the moon. Immediately. Why? Beats me. I'm an engineer, not a biologist. The point is, Felice convinced us to help her. Said if she didn't get those measurements, she'd have to hang around for a whole year. Felice hated me. I wasn't too fond of her either. So I agreed to help her just to get rid of her. What are you doing? What? Keep trying. Seeing how bad the damage is to the corridor that leads to the dive room. All I need is one dive. I take a couple of amoeba samples, make my report, and I'm on the next transport home. You heard what Green said. The corridor's damaged and the subs are out of action. Just, you know, well, I, 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 just one, okay. No, I don't trust Green. Your lock code has changed since I was here last. Well, according to this, the corridor's a no-access zone, and the door in the dive room's been sealed from Green's command section. All I have to do is open that, and I'm in. And the boy Wonder here is gonna open that door for me. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how badly damaged can that corridor be? At worst, it's lost internal pressure, so we wear vac suits. We? And when did this become a group effort? As for the subs, shouldn't be a problem for an engineering genius like you. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? You get me killed? Getting sucked outside to a surface wind of 20 knots, sub-zero temperature and toxic atmosphere? Yeah, you could die. This old piss green off. Count me in. All right, well, this should do it. Oh, oh, now all we gotta do is get to the dive room. <laughs> Fine, that's all I need. What is Reese's story? I don't know. She was assigned to Green's security team, but he's got her doing latrine duty. What a waste. I guess the good doctor needs our help. I'll get killed. And I'll get us a little more muscle. You'll see. Police, the door's been welded shut. We're on our way. Gordy, man, how is it hanging, you big hunkin' metal piece of thing? Got you, got you hauling rocks down to mining, huh? Well, don't worry, I'm here now, and things are gonna be a whole lot better, just like last time. Felice, let me handle this. I can do this on my own. Well, I'm sure you can, but I figure the sooner we get you off Ganymede, the easier it'll be for all us mere mortals. Yeah, and we'll put a little critter up the company. What? Okay, what's your plan? Uh, we get Tiny here to kick the door down. Unable to comply. Behavioral inhibition. Protocol 3. Okay, so what's plan B? We could blow the door off. Just turn the switch on the top. Reese, seal the airlock. Equalize pressure with outside air. Airlock depressurized. Hey, robot. Give me that robot. Warning. Mining explosives are not permitted inside the complex. Gord. I renamed him Gord. Gord, put down the explosives. Unable to comply. The safeties are on. What are you doing? Listen up, robot. I'm going to stand right here for the next 30 seconds unless you give me that charge. Negative. Deactivate charge immediately. Forget it. That's enough. You're gonna kill us all. I don't think that's in the rules. Please.
mortar's not damaged. It's not there. Well, this ain't chance. They pulled it completely apart. Why in God's name would they do that? I guess we're gonna have to walk. Gort, attach a safety line to the dive room and return. Why, Ty? He can shoot it out there with his grappling gun. Cool. Gort, please aim grapple pin. <sighs> At the dive room door, Zippy. Jazz, reset the safety. Later. Gort, fire grapple pin. <laughs> Needs work on its aim. Uh, engage winch. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe if I waited, it would put a little bit Hey, relax, Jazz. I'll fire it manually. Oh, you guys are useless. I'll attach the safety line myself. Someone want to reset this thing with safety codes? Well, I'm only useless in the biblical sense. Take this. Come on, come on. Take this. Civilian. Oh, thanks a lot, Kel. You okay? Yeah, this is nothing I've seen worse. This storm's getting bigger. Frozen over. Stand clear while I bust the ice loose. Watch yourself. Restoring pressure and oxygen. Now we can breathe in here. Retrofitting the subs. Yeah, right. Voice print, Jacobs, F301. What's that? Door won't open. Jack said he changed the code for me. Let me try. What are you doing? Nothing. Enough. Tie her faceplate up. It won't close. I'm firing the grapple pin out to you and catch her and I'll hold her back in. It's not accurate enough. You're gonna kill her. I'll take it out for personally. Stand clear, Jazz. I know what I'm doing. We've only got one shot at this. What are you doing? <laughs>
Open that door on this tie. Sabotage? Rubbish. Company losers looking for an easy way home. No, no, cop. There's serious charges. I'll definitely look into it. You know, Green, you could really get to piss me off. Fix the corridor. You've got access to the dive room. Who is she? She's back. She's there. This signal's infecting every computer in the complex, and it's not coming from the base. Oh, my God. If this is real, she's not human. Yeah. Get over. What is she, then? An alien? Maybe. Oh, wow. Looks like someone's diving to find out. Green and Cobb. This is why they pulled the corridor apart. To stop anyone investigating. Yowzers! Come on, let's find out what's going on here. Is this thing gonna hold together? Never would. My samples will have to wait. An alien life form. That's so much more important. 
It's every biologist's dream. And look at that tie. One perfect sub. Oh, look at these readings, man. It's definitely down there, whatever it is. What is you it? You coming? Just try and stop me. Can you handle Green? Let Green handle himself, man. I'm coming, too. I'll handle Green. I'll probably regret this. Patch us in as soon as you get to control. There's gonna be people in control. First thing they teach you, there's always a weapon. What would I do with it? Yeah, right. Look, maybe there's another way to do this. Please. You haven't seen White Rat, have you? Uh, no, why? Disease control experiment that escaped. What kind of disease? Hemorrhagic generiosis. Deadly. You'll know if you got it. Blood will pour out of every orifice in your body. Maybe we should wait outside. Hey, I'd leave the entire building. Okay, we are in control. Gotcha. Thanks for doing this. You couldn't have you flying blind. You got the rap yet, Jess? Come on, come on. Let's sit over there, Doc. Everyone said? Nearly. Just go. Reese, we're out of here. Ah, Crane's jam. Does nothing in this place work? Hold on, I'm gonna drop her. <laughs> Guy could sure forget his troubles down here. Jazz, you want to get the image from wherever that signal's coming from? Feeling lucky? Getting that? Yeah, static. Just what we need. Record everything, no matter what. Watch yourselves. Should have gone with them. Which way is that signal coming from, Jazz? Straight down, oh, around a thousand meters or so. Whatever's causing it must be B.I.G. Big. Felice, see that? What? There, all getting close. It's gone. Port side, Jess. Increase your scan. Yeah, yeah, it ain't easy. There's interference everywhere. Keep trying, Jess. What the hell was that? Warning. Last number you did. Jess? Getting hairy. Maybe another hundred feet. Come this far. You sure we can handle this depth? You know me, Mr. Understatement. Look, we've done what we could. Ty. What the... Whoa, what was that? Ah. Jess. Uh, how would I know? We got a rope. Somebody sent a probe after us.
I have you now, Chicken Will. <laughs> I think I'll call him Bernie like the rat. Nice work. Of course, I never had any doubt. Ty, you okay? <laughs> I guess this means I won't be playing Mozart for a while. I've got to get you both to medical. Ty, quick. Whoa. What is it? The most beautiful thing I've ever seen.